Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you very much for joining me today. I've got something really, really special, something unique uh, to show you guys, review for you, demonstrate for you, show you how it works, everything. Uh, and obviously over on my written review of this, I'll have prices and links to where you can purchase uh, these products if you want to. Now, um, I reached out to this company uh, not that long ago. Uh, the company is Maker's Cabinet because I wanted to review this product here. Now I got a, a few requests, quite a few requests over the last year and a half or so uh, from people asking me to review this product, um, which obviously I'll get into that in a second, but uh, they make other things. And one of the other things that they make is this beautiful uh, thing here called uh, the, uh, the Iris. Now I will show you this in a second. I wasn't expecting them to send this to me, but they did, and I was just overjoyed that they did. Um, so that was a real bonus for me. But for the first part of this video, what I want to talk about is the Hoville Pencil Plane. Now, I get asked an awful lot about sharpeners uh, within the colour pencil world, or the graphite pencil, or and quite actually in particular, uh, pastel pencils. Um, Everybody is looking for the ultimate sharpener, uh, something that's going to work really well, create a point, not uh, snag or, or, or pull at the wood or anything like that, and also not eat up the pencils at the same time. So everybody, every colour pencil artist, graphite artist that I know, they're always on the lookout for the best sharpener. And I personally think that I have found, if not the best, certainly a, a contender for that position. Um, and there's l many different things that uh, I think put it in a bracket. Um, now there are a lot of people I know uh, within the colour pencil world, the pastel pencil, graphite pencil world as well, who may struggle with arthritis, things like that in their hands, uh, which prevent them from fiddling around with tiny little sharpeners or even the hand crank sharpeners can be cumbersome for them sometimes. So uh, I always try to make sure that I take that into consideration when I'm doing my reviews, especially for sharpeners. Now, after I've done this review, uh, in, a, in a few reviews down, uh, I'm gonna do like a comparison of all the different sharpeners I have uh, but for now, this one is just purely about the, the Hovell pencil plane. Now, so, uh, I'll come back to this little bag in a second. Uh, everything about this company is just... Excels excellence. Beauty, craftsmanship, just absolute pure joy. Now... Some people might consider this a luxury product. Um, it's It might be in the luxury bracket in terms of pricing. As always, I will have all the prices and the links to these products over on the written review of the Art Gear Guide. Um, but that would obviously be down to something that you would have to come up with in your, uh, with your own budget and that type of thing. But when I show you how this thing works, um, you might see it less of a luxury item and more of a necessity depending on how you, how you are with uh, your pencils so as we can see here it's a little simple um, box um, but e even the box is really well made it, you can tell that it's um, it's sustainable it's all uh, recycled materials that type of thing they have really um, put a lot into the packaging which a lot of companies are starting to understand the value of the packaging that they uh, send their products in. Uh, I think long gone are the days where, where you know companies make these beautiful products and then just stick it in a piece, a piece of plastic and just be done with it. Uh, and that's very much the case here with uh, the, the maker's cabinet. So if we take this little box out, um, Inside we get this tiny little uh, paper piece of paper It gives you uh, a little rundown on the instructions of how to assemble this uh, how to use it But I'm going to show you all those things now uh, And here is the item itself now it, This is beautiful. 
absolutely gorgeous so let me lift out the the actual item um as you can see here in the box you get the the pencil plane so this is the actual sharpener and then on the top here you get a little um barrel and inside the barrel there are 10 uh, blades um, you can buy these individually from Maker's Cabinet so if you run out you just purchase them from them again I'll have all the prices and links over in the art gear guide but you know you, you get the 10 with the product whenever you purchase it this is the um, the actual product here and if you have done woodworking or anything like that in your lifetime when you were a kid at school or anything like that um, you will understand this concept from the the woodworkers plane um, obviously hence the name the pencil plane and that's exactly how it works and if you have ever used a, a high quality plane with a really sharp um, sharp blade in it you will know that when you are playing in a piece of wood you can you can you can get it down from this rough surface to this glass smooth beautiful surface of wood showing the grain uh with your with a uh, uh like a crafter's plane and this little tool is exactly the same for pencils um I actually have a blade in here now, but I will take this apart and let you see how they all go, like how you put a blade in. But on the bottom here, you can see, uh, I'll have images popping up here where you can see it properly, but you can see there the, the blade protrudes out at the bottom. And obviously, depending on how much you want to come off the pencil, you just uh, adjust this accordingly. Uh, you don't have to adjust it very much. It's very, very slight adjustments. Now you can, um, you can actually sharpen pencils in a couple of ways with this. Now this is where the little bag comes in. This is something that you can purchase separately. It's not very expensive. It's just an additional piece. Um, again, I'll have the links for this and the pricing over on the Art Gear Guide. But it's this beautiful walnut wood. Um, holder so your pencil plane sits in there and so it can sit on your desk and it it acts as kind of like a um, just like a holder really but it also acts as a like a table for uh, actually sharpening the pencil so let's take a look at how this sharpens the pencil uh, the both ways that I've shown you here or that I'm going to show you the, uh, on the back here again I mean it, this is just a, a little holder but it's so beautifully made uh, you can tell that this has got a lot of uh, time and effort has gone into this maker's cabinet stamped on the back here uh, it's just an absolutely exquisite piece. This is it feels really nice to hold in the hand. Um, on the side, on the inside here, where the opposite side to where you would make your adjustments uh, is the the Hovell logo etched into it. So very very beautiful. Uh, when you want to replace your blades, all you do is you simply unscrew this, take it out. This lifts right out. And then you put the blades in. Let me zoom in and I'll show you, show you exactly how it happens. So you unscrew this. And there you can see that's the little hole there is where it screws into. Uh, you get your blade. And you put your blade just on here. It just rests in there. There is a lip that goes across there that stops it from going up, protruding up any further. Uh, and then put this through. And then 
you just screw this back into place. Now, like I say, before you tighten it up, all you need to do is make sure that you've got your, your blade protruding out just enough. You might have to, when you're doing this, you might have to uh, have a pencil on hand and uh, test how far out the blade is. Sometimes if it goes out too far, it'll, it just won't work. So, um, okay, so just let me zoom. Okay, so, um, so I've put the blade in and I've got it now where I need it to be. And I have a, um, uh, as you can see here, I have a, a, a brand new Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. It hasn't been sharpened or anything like that. So um, I'm going to sharpen this for you using the whole veil. Now what, I, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use it, as you notice here, both... As you can see here, both uh, ends of the whole veil have got these kind of like little grooves where your forefinger and thumb uh, just rest into it nice, nicely. Um, and then all you do is hold the, the whole veil at, a, at an angle and sharpen. Uh, obviously, this is a brand new pencil, so it's... It's going to take a while to get to get into it and as you're turning it round um, or sorry as you're sharpening just keep turning the pencil round and you can see how sharp these blades are and how I mean bearing in mind this is a an unsharpened pencil and it's just it's cutting through this like butter. Now I know I've I've reviewed a pen a, a sharpener similar to this. Um, called the pencil scraper, but this you can see here all these little shavings have come out. There, it's just like having a, a little mini woodworking plane in your kit. Now, once I've once I've got the the actual point of the the pencil through, I'm going to show you how to uh, sharpen it using the actual plinth. a look at this little beauty here now I, I could refine that even more but if you look at this this barrel it's it does that doesn't look like it's been done um it by a, a like a knife it looks like it's been sharpened in a proper sharpener now I, I said to you that I wanted to refine it so what you can do is Put the Hovell pencil sharpener here in the block. And then just keep dragging it across like this. Same principle, turning it round as you're going. Making sure that you keep the pencil at the right angle obviously doing it this way um, is a little bit easier on the wrist because you're using the table as a support um, it doesn't It's not as uh, labor intensive. So for those of you that do have arthritis in the hands or anything like that, 
using some <coughs> using the uh, pencil hovel plane like this should be quite easy but it's it's an incredibly therapeutic experience as well and so if you just take a look there at the point that this pencil is I personally prefer doing it the other way I'm just showing you that this coda and obviously the sh the, the shavings just go into the little box here or stand but I personally prefer you uh, sharpening this way. Uh, I think I have more control and I find it a little bit faster than using the, the plinth. But I am sure that some people might find the plinth easier to use. Uh, I just find that using it this way, doing it this way, gives me a, a little bit more control. And I can turn the pencil ever so slightly as I'm doing it. Uh, and there you go. Okay, so one of the other um, amazing things about the Hovel is uh, pastel pencils. Now, everybody, anybody that uses pastel pencils will know that they are notoriously difficult to sharpen. Um, and most pastel pencil artists prefer to use a craft knife or something like that. Well, this Hovel pencil plane is uh, perfect for it so as you can see here the um, the core on this uh, Faber, Faber Castell pit pastel is quite uh, bl blunt so uh, I'm just gonna get the old Hovell pencil plane here and you can you should be able to hear just the the wood Stripping off the, the 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 barrel with this plane, it is the the the, the blades are just so sharp. Um, and like I say, if you just all you have to do is. Keep turning the pencil nice and slowly uh, and it will help you get a consistent uh, sharpness all the way around the core. You're, you're, you won't end up with like a, a 45 degree point or something like that. And so there you go, you can see there, that's not a bad point uh, for a pastel pencil. And you can see here on the wood, there is, um, there's no big welts out of it or anything like that, that you would ordinarily sometimes, well, most of the times get with a, a craft knife. Uh, I just think that this Hovell pencil plane is a wonderful tool for any pencil artist whether you're a graphite pencil artist color pencil artist um, pastel pencils I mean for pastels it is absolutely amazing um, and I just think that when it's sat in its little plinth and it's sat on your desk it is just gorgeous um, all you need to do is just flip it over set it on the table and if you're ready to um, refine your point or anything like that that's all you gotta do very simple very easy very very f effective um, and I've sharpened quite a few pastel pencils. I, I, I tried this before, obviously I had done the review, uh, done a little bit of demonstrating 
at you know just making sure how it was going to work and what have you and um so i've sharpened a lot of uh, color pencils including uh prisma color pencils because they are a, a much softer core and so they sharpened absolutely beautifully so did the the luminance and the uh the the thicker pencils that you can get from like derwent the uh the derwent drawing pencils they all sharpen beautifully with this this uh little pencil plane from hove or this hovel pencil plane from cabinet's maker's cabinet it is just a thing of beauty it is just gorgeous it's very, very it's quite weighty so you know it's quality material uh when you're using it um, so let me just set this aside now for the second and let me show you uh, the iris okay so like I said um, makers cabinet when I contacted them about the Hovel um, they were delighted to send it through to me um, especially when I told them the amount of interest that I had had from you guys uh, about the product um, and that's all I was expecting them to send through to me. I knew about the iris. I knew that they had made it. Uh, and I, I knew what it did. But I never expected them to send this through to me. Um, but they have. And I want to show you guys how this thing works. How it looks. And just how beautiful it is. It is, like I say, a, a luxury item. I think it's probably um, aimed at a, a certain group of people. And I'm not too sure everybody would use this or, or get uh, daily use from it. I think if you are into drawing mandalas, that type of thing, this would be a beautiful tool to have um, for architecture, all sorts of things like that. So, But let me stop waffling. Let me get on with it. So as with the Hovel pencil plane, uh, it's well packaged, beautiful packaging, uh, all recycled materials, sustainable, everything like that about this company just is amazing. Uh, inside here we have another little um, pamphlet just explaining how to use the product. Um, and let me just set that to the side. And then obviously inside here we have this gorgeous, gorgeous machined piece of material. Uh, it's nice. It has a nice weight to it. Again, it comes with. Let me get it out here. You can see here that this is all like kind of like laser cut uh, cardboard here. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful the packaging. Um, but let me move that to the side. So I have a little piece of paper here. Um, so it comes with this little stand, but it's more than a stand, and I'll show you in a second. Um, what the, what the, the the stand transfers into as well, transforms into as well. So, as you can see here, it's this uh, gorgeous brass um, circle. But here's where the magic happens. Round the, the edge here, there is a, it's kind of like laser cut to create like a little bit of a, a texture on the surface. And when you put your fingers on and you twist and turn, you can see here, it works just like a camera lens. And this is for drawing circles. So instead of the old compass, you can draw your circles. And um, on the underside of this, there's kind of like this rubber. You can see here, I'm not too sure if you can see the material, but it's kind of like a, a really soft rubber here. And that's what's, when it goes on, the weight of this and the, when it's on the paper, all you've got to do is push down a little bit and you can, um create your circles now along the edge here as well we have uh numbers but if you can see here as well uh, there'll be an image showing up here there's a little red notch here on the side of it and it just lets you you can turn around and go to whatever size circle you want so 
as you can see here the um the blades i'll show you in more detail how they 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 work in a second but you can see here and the the little red uh mark that i showed you if you want your circle to be um a certain size you can just draw it around there so this is it kind of like right open and if you want the the width of the next circle to be um a centimeter you just move it around create that and you can just keep going all the way in And you can see here it creates your circles. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There you go. You can see there the it creates the the circles uh, beautifully, no problems whatsoever. Um, now, what I should have done was when I first started this, just let me move this over to another piece. When you um, start off, the stand. If you put place the stand in here, this what the stand does is it creates your center. So you mark your center of the circle like that. And if for some reason, let me zoom in. There you go. So you can see my center here. And I got that by placing the stand there. And so if you move your circle off or anything like that, all you need to do is bring in this little plinth and that's going to create your center again uh, and then you're good to go. Um, and you can see how far... down this goes uh, you can see here it is just a thing of beauty it's absolutely gorgeous but then watch this on the back of it you can see the company the company's logo let me just show you you can see the company logo here um, and as as the um, as it opens and closes The logo appears. I know I've got a lot of lights here. It's not really showing well. But I've got some images. Uh, will be showing up here. And also over on the art gear guide as well. But how, how amazing is that? Uh, you know when they've come up with this idea. Just to put this iris and their maker's cabinet at the bottom as well. It's just so beautiful. It's just an absolutely thing of an absolute thing of beauty. Um, you know, when I showed this to my wife, my wife has got absolutely zero interest, zero interest in art or anything like that. Even she said, you know, this is beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. And she was saying, you know, when you when you go to take your photographs of it, you've got to have some candlelight. You've got to make it look like it's kind of like. Uh, you know really luxurious lighting around it because it, it warrants really special photography and you know i've never seen my wife get that involved in anything i've done uh with regards to the art gear guide ever so for something like this to even get my wife excited it's um that's no mean feat so i mean like when both these bits when both these pieces are sat on your desk, as the image is now showing you, they are just gorgeous. Anybody comes into your office or anybody comes into your studio, they are definitely going to be talking pieces. But more importantly than just having center pieces, talking pieces, these are functioning pieces that are going to last you a lifetime. Uh, obviously, the, the Hovell pencil plane is absolutely more aimed at people who will be watching this channel. Uh, I get that. But I think that with the, the the way mandalas and things like that are going and the amazing work that people can create from mandalas, I think uh, if you're into creating those, this tool here would just be invaluable for you. I know, obviously, you, can, you know, there are compasses, but this is just 
so easy to use, so beautiful. Um, it's uh, it, it's just something that I think is incredible. The engineering, the uh, craftsmanship that has gone into these, the, both these pieces is just phenomenal. And that's it, guys. Uh, I hope this has been really interesting for you. Uh, and I know that the the pencil Hovel, uh, the the Hovel pencil plane will be of interest to a few of you. Uh, you've seen how effortlessly that I was able to create the points uh, on the the graphite pencil and the pastel pencil, the, with the pastel pencils being notoriously difficult. Um, and as I mentioned earlier as well in the video. The likes of Prismacolor and uh, Luminance and the Derwent Drawn Pencil, which is uh, quite a chunky pencil, doesn't fit into a lot of pencil sharpeners. The whole Veil Pencil Plane just absolutely cut through those like butter and created gorgeous points. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have this now in my collection. Uh, like I say, if you want to know about the prices and links to where you could get your hands on one of these, uh, I'll have them. The links will be down below, and I'll also have the price guide and other links over on the, the written review of the Art Gear Guide. So please, by all means, go across, take a look if you're interested. I've got a lot of images over on the Art Gear Guide as well if you want to go across. Uh, some very, very detailed close ups of how the, the Hovel works. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Thank you. Bye.